All right, what's going on, everyone? We have a five rare budget standard deck. So if you're not familiar with our rules here on the channel, I always play one each of every rare dual land for free, and then our main board can only have five rares total, and only two max of any individual rare. In our case, we're playing two Kami of Transients, one Weaver of Harmony, one Kallax, and one Katilda. So this is a Celesnia Enchantments deck. This is a deck that's actually a tier 1 deck and standard. We are of course playing a budgetized version. We would be playing like 4 of these, maybe 4 of these, probably like 2 each of these. So we're making some budget concessions, but we still get to play a lot of the deck. So we have things like Generous Visitor. Whenever we play an enchantment, we get to put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on something. We have Kami of Transients whenever we play an enchantment. This gets a counter. We have Jukai Naturalist, which is going to make our enchantments cheaper. We have Weaver of Harmony, which makes other enchantment creatures get plus one, plus one, which we have uh, here and here and here. It also lets us copy triggered abilities, and the reason that's relevant is we're playing Machiko's Reign of Truth. This is a two mana saga. It's going to give a creature plus one, plus one for each artifact and enchantment we control. It does this twice, then flips into a creature that's going to have power and toughness, basically, equal to the number of enchantments. But we can actually double this ability with Weaver. Um, we can also double this ability when this enters and exiles something, and that is a triggered ability. This is also a triggered ability. It's a two mana one, one. When it enters, we draw, which can also be doubled with this. Katilda will have power and toughness equal to the number of spirits or enchantments we control. And then we have this, which uh, whenever it or another enchantment enters, we put a plus one plus one counter on a creature. And then it can create token copies of non-legendary enchantments, which is very powerful. And um, whenever it or an enchanted creature deals combat damage to a player. So that's not bad. We also have this. This is a budget concession not played in the tier one deck, but it's a seven mana four four flyer that will cost one less for each enchantment we control. Ideally, we want to pay like one or two mana for this. And that's going to be fine for us on a budget. We have another... Uh, we have Ossification, we have two of them kind of, because we have Touch of the Spirit Realm, which does the same thing. Exile something until it dies. And to fill out the deck, because we are missing some rares, right? We would be playing these and these and more of these. So to fill the deck out, we have, um, first off, we have Audacity, which pumps a creature and then redraws if it dies. We have Commune with the Spirits, which just helps us dig. So this is like filler. We draw it and then we get to look for something else instead. Most decks will play like one or two of these. We're playing a full four to fill in the space that these rares would take. And then we have Royal Treatment, which is just a protection spell. So yeah, this is just a, a pretty typical uh, enchantment deck and standard, but we're playing a five rare version of it. And let's see how it does. Um, Tap Land is really hurting us here because we would be playing this turn one, this turn two. We can't do that, but this is the price we pay to play budget decks, right? So we'll play this, pass. Opponent plays Duress, if you insist. Gets my commune with the spirits. Another one, all right. Probably gonna get touch of the spirit realm here. Could be a royal treatment if they have lots of removal. Um, nope, they take that. As expected. Jukai naturalist is cool. We don't actually have a lot of enchantments. So next turn we can play this. If I draw a land, I'll play this first. Then play this. Um, sure. All right. Well, it's not great. Hmm. So I'm going to play this because it will reduce the cost of this. I'm not going to attack. Um, so now I can use this to get to pump this and it has lifelink. So uh, it doesn't pump too much. It's only two right now. If I draw a land, I can play this, then play this. Actually, no, it, it costs one less. I can do that without the land. Never mind. Tax for three. No blocks. All right. Okay, that's good, because it means they don't have, uh... Ooh. They don't have removal for the Jukai. Well, they could have a cut down. They've got one card left. Alright, so we'll play this. I'm going to put the counter here. And this is going to enter. I will pump here. So it's a 5-5, five, five, so they can throw their entire board at it. If they want. They don't, so they go to 13... I go to 15. Yeah, great. That's <laughs> that's a fine start. We get a one drop into a pretty bad two drop. But we do have a commune with nature, so we can search, I guess. I feel like my enchantment count is a little bit low. Hopeless nightmares. Discard two. 
Probably these two. Oh no, it's only one. All right, we'll submit the Touch of the Spirit Realm. All right, another one of those. Okay. I really want to protect my creature. I think I do this, find a green source, which is here. Play. I've already played a land. What am I doing? What am I talking about? I've already played a land. I meant to, I should have played that first. That was just a mistake. A silly mistake. So I can't protect my creature now. Um, that's fine. So we do, make sure we, we tap a white land. That's a counter, because this is an enchantment, right? It's an enchantment creature. And then we... Um... I will give it Hexproof. And attack for two. Alright, so that, that didn't give a counter because it, um... It just entered. Alright, that's annoying. Probably sacrifice this. Land, but not a white one, so that sucks. Can play this, target this, resolve. Do I just attack them? Probably. They have a removal spell. It's not good. Oh, it's another one. Okay. Um, we well, not necessarily. Okay, they. I was about to concede. Well, all right. It's okay. We'll keep. the The enchantment count really does seem a bit low. I wish I had. Like, a couple more enchantment creatures in the deck. Which, of course, would be, you know, like, a Katoda, which isn't an enchantment creature, but it's a really powerful threat. But, we can play this turn two, we can play this turn three. If we draw a land, if we don't, we can find a land. Opponent's playing Naya. What does that even mean? Alright, probably some kind of tokens deck. We will play Jukai Naturalist. Makes all of my stuff super cheap. I could... Play Ossification and a Communal uh, Spirits this turn. Lunark Veteran? Yeah, definitely some kind of token deck. Charming Scoundrel. Gains two. Land, that's good. So I can... I can't because I only have one white source. Ah, uh, the lands are always a problem. Alright, I'm going to play this. Uh, get a white source. Play this. Get a counter. Um, I could wipe their entire board out if I attack. Might be worth it. Let's attack for three. I mean, I wipe their board out if they want to triple block. Which they do. Alright. Seems fine. That's acceptable to me. Next turn I could play two of these, right? Okay, I can get rid of that with the Nossification. Join the dance. Makes two... Uh, well, we'll see what... It, we, I don't know what it makes. Two, two, twos. All right. Attacks. No blocks. All right. Land. So we'll play Ossification. We will target you. Counter here. And then... I'm going to play this. Counter. Target. Or whatever. I had that backwards, but whatever. We attack for seven. Take action. Target this. Doesn't do anything, but next turn it will. Will it? I don't know if it will or not. Um, does it still like... Yeah, it's a copy, right? So it's still gonna do the stuff. I assume. It's not legendary when it flips. I don't know. Oh, I could have copied uh, this as well, couldn't I have? Right. Alright, that I can get rid of with the ossification. Jukai Naturalist is also good. Alright, target. Target. We'll do ossification. We'll target this land. We will get a counter. Oh no, I'm, I could have exiled my own thing if that was an option. Sure. Pay two for this. I'll put the counter here. Play this tap land. And attack for 14. Token deck's gonna block this just fine, but we just have a lot of power, so it should be okay. Yep, gains one. So next turn we can dig for something. We can draw cards here. Mix a couple one ones. Nice. Oh yeah, it's it's uh it's working fine. Is that three games? Uh, that second game was. I don't know if we would have won that if the opponent stuck it out, but it seems fine so far. Uh, the. 
The top lands are rough though, as always. That is the biggest burden of budget decks is playing bad lands. I think I play this and this and hope for an untapped land. Because if I draw an untapped land, it's all very good. If I don't, then it's all very bad. Uh, that's a, that's the summary of it. Could be domain with these sleeves. It's uh, red aggro. Okay. Untapped land, please. Untapped land. Untapped land. Crap, that sucks. Well, let's commune with nature. I think I just take the untapped land so I can have this up. Attack for one. All right. Because they could have a burn spell, right? Yeah, there it is. All right. I figured. Could have another burn spell. But if they waste all their burn spells trying to kill this. Um, sure. That this The lifelink on this is insane. So I'm kind of fine with that. Yeah, I'm actually going to play this. I don't have an untapped white source. Jesus Christ. I've made so many mistakes. I can't play anything. Wow. Yeah, I have two green sources. <sighs> the lands are killing me. The lands are what's rough. Sure. So. We'll play this. Get a counter. Attack for three. I just need to loop this turn. I can play this. Get. Like this is going to be like a 6-6 six, six or something, right? With a lifelink. And that's crazy against red aggro. Five, six, seven. So if this is lightning strike, I lose. Go to three. Is it lightning strike? Please don't be. Please don't. No. Oh, this was totally winnable. So I can exile one of these, which I have to do or I'm dead. So we'll play this. Counter here. Exile this. I mean, they're out of gas, so... It's not impossible. I mean, if they draw... No, they have this. They have the land. I lose. Maybe they won't see it. Uh, they didn't see it. So that's good. No, they had... This is haste. Jesus. Um, so what we... What lost us this game 100% was the, uh, the budget lands. Like, a lot of new players don't see the value in the rare lands. But I think we just saw it, right? We, we keep stumbling on mana. And we just can't play our stuff efficiently. All right, this is fine. Hope we're not against a black deck that can kill our stuff. Seems fine. These sleeves are kind of cool. Galvamaya Iconoclast, all right. Um, yeah, we'll just play this. Counter here. No attacks. So no white sources next turn. Strangle, fine. Ossification, can't cast it. So, let's do this. Draw. Alright, don't draw, I get the counter. Don't know why I said draw. Counter. So if they kill this, I'll draw two cards and that's good. Alright, they go to 12. Sam, so this is the, uh, the, uh, Gruel Haste deck. Alright, draw two cards. This is fine. I can play this and get rid of their stuff and um, get counters. So it's not terrible. I will play this. Play ossification. Target this. Get a counter. Exile this. Alright. That's pretty good. I have to get rid of that for sure. So no blocks. All right, I mean, that's pretty good. The lifelink is huge. So I'm gonna play this, get a counter, play this. I will get rid of this. I'm gonna play this. Um, This is fine. All right, and then attack for five. So hopefully we live, because we have lifelink now. I and mean, if they play like a, a couple creatures here, I can always chump gain two. Squee. Yava Maya Iconoclast. Uh oh. Um. So I definitely have to jump here. So I jump. Uh. I take 10, but I'll, I'll gain 2. So I don't die. And now we should win here. Oh no, I can't cast this. Uh, I need something that I can cast, please. Perfect. Alright, so we do win. Whew. 
Close one. Down to zero. Yeah, very close. Scary close. But we got there. Two wilds of all drain packs. I mean, we gotta open these. Get a red cap gutter dweller. And... A feral encounter. This card seems really good. No one's playing it. It's weird. Alright, so that's a quick look at this deck on a budget. And it feels fine. You should be able to put this together pretty quick. I mean, we literally have a bunch of singleton rares. And you can play whatever land you want. You definitely don't have to copy these. Um, the things that feel awkward with this. Definitely the lands. I would update the lands before I even upgrade the, uh... Like, if, if I have two rare wild cards, I'm I'm crafting two lands. I'm not, uh, I'm not crafting these yet. Because this, this land is, uh, it felt pretty rough. But besides that, it feels good. It, it feels like it's lacking a little bit of the oomph. Having four of these is pretty important for that. But overall, our record stands for itself. It still seems pretty good. Not as good as the tier one deck fully built out. But it's a starting point if you're interested in this style of deck. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.